Hello. Here's a little trick that I learned from a good old friend of mine, Prince Charles. Using Photoshop, I'm going to restore the tone and color in a wonderful, wonderful picture of mine that I took when I was, uh, let's say, uh, under the influence. Right, okay, just here we are. I'm just going to get rid of this bit of uh, cheap advising, if I can. Uh, where are we? Oh, yes, there we are. Right. Okay, then here's the photo. So a lovely, lovely scene. Uh, near a rather dubious spot in uh, Coventry Centre. Now, this photo, as you'll see, is somewhat washed out and the colours are a little bit, how can we say, uh, airy-fairy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spruce up this image with uh, something called levels. Now, uh, levels involve use of something called a histogram. And we can find levels under image adjustments. There we go, levels. But more importantly, I don't know if you can see on this screenshot, it's a little bit blurry, isn't it? Um, control L are the quick keys. Control L, hey. Let's give it a go. Control and L. There we go. There's a little lighter. Right, now we've got the levels palette up, or dialog box, I should say. Hmm, sorry about that. Um, you'll see that you're presented with a lovely, lovely histogram. Lovely histogram. Um, what the histogram is actually showing you here is something called a composite. Now, this composite um, is literally RGB, which is red, green, and blue. You're seeing the entire image in all of its wonderful colors. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to look at every, each and every individual channel of color, the red, the green, and the blue in turn, and fix them. And as if by magic, voila, the photo is going to look amazing. Okay, let's start with the red. Now, at the moment, what you're seeing here are all of the shades of red within the image, from black to white. All of the shades from the darkest reds to the lightest reds. And as you can see with this image, everything is bunched up in the middle, which tells me for starters, we're dealing with a rather wonky image. So what we're going to do is we're going to stretch this tonal information across the tonal range. Watch this. Get in there. You, and you go. There we go. Now, already the image is looking rather wonderful, isn't it? A bit on the pink side, a little bit Jimi Hendrix, if you ask me. Oh, there was a feather for you. But all the same, let's get in there. What we're going to do now is go to the green channel. There's one there. There you go. And the blue channel. And you go there. Hello. And all of a sudden, as if by magic, it is just preview on and off. Look at it. And you were about to fit in the old one, eh? Not good. Look at it. Absolutely stunning. Now, if you really wanted to be accurate with this, what you could do is go through the channels, put down the old key we're using a PC, and whatever it is on the Mac, I have a Mac. So, find the key, and back in G. And those pixels will start of the tonal range. And just image. Bring it into the point where you're not actually forming chunks of information in the image. Just little specks. Let's do myself. Push the list. Anyway. And the same with the green. And the same with the lovely blue. There we go. Now we can click on OK. Good old Control Z for a bit of a toggle on the before and after. Oh, look at it. That's beautiful. Absolutely delightful. Well, thank you for listening. And uh, I suppose what was left for me to say is, uh, Tulipip? What, what?